Hello, Monsters of Anion, welcome back to Total War, Warhammer 3, Immortal Empires, and a brand new campaign as Belakor, the first demon prince. That's right, he's got the voice of the dwarf guy from that film with the small people. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I think, doesn't matter. Anyway, Belakor is... Uh, cool. Belakor is, of course, the first demon prince. That's right, he's the first person on the Warhammer world that went, hey... These, these chaos guys, these people from another dimension. I like the cut of their jib and threw his lot in with them and became the first demon prince. Unfortunately, he got a little bit big for his boots. He doesn't wear boots, but you get, get what I'm trying to say here. And got his, he got too, too big for his boots and basically the chaos gods decided to, you know, cut him down to size and basically turn him into a shadow. A shadow of his former self. Um, which meant he couldn't, like, tangibly interact with anything. Basically, it was the Chaos Gods having a laugh, because that's what they do. They're, they are... They are nothing but eternal trolls who like to... Inf it's like 4chan. Internal infighting. Massive troll. Another dimension filled with pus. Prove me wrong, children. So, Bellacor basically not super happy with the Chaos Gods, and during the end times, uh, was it the end No, it was like the Albion thing? Oh, I can't remember. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, the point is that he's back, baby. Better than ever, right? The first. Exactly. The first, the only... That's not true. There's lots. So, um, his, his special mechanics are that human lords can be corrupted into becoming demon princes when defeated in battle or target. I don't know whether that's actually you, because, I mean, how many armies do, have, do you effectively want? You know, recruiting generals isn't hard. Is that good? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Starts with all Chaos God gift slots. Neat. And upkeep reduction for demon units. Double neat. Um, so we start with like a smorgasbord of demon units and some Chaos Warrior units as well. He is a, a Warriors of Chaos faction, um, but he kind of errs towards the demons. I mean, the, the, the Chaos faction sort of, they merge together in certain ways, don't they? But obviously the, the Warriors of Chaos faction, they tend to be more Chaos Warrior related the demon factions had to be more demon related the beastmen factions are their own thing and bellacor is is sort of the bridge between them he sort of bridges them so he is a warriors of chaos faction that is quite demon um i quite like the warriors of chaos because you you, you sort of rely on the vassals rather than having to you know conquer everything which you know expands your your territory provides more enemies for you to fight that kind of thing instead you kind of get you get you get, you get to burn you get to Burn your own trail, don't you? Get to do your own thing. So, we have victory conditions, thanks to mods. The first one is Shadows over Albion. After his failure to steal Urson's godly strength, Belakor flew on wings of shadow to the far-flung Isle of Albion. There he harvested the energies of the Mystic Isle to weave himself a new body. Now, with a shadow rift at his bow, he stands ready to besiege the mortal world once more. Need to maintain control of Albion, and also maintain control of four of the following. Altdorf, Kislev, Karone, Kazakarak, the Oak of Ages, Lothurn, Itza, or Wei Jin. That's going to give us the Harbinger from east to west. All is in ruins, all is despair, all is chaos. With a mortal demon, all will learn to fear the name Belakor. Hit points, 25% for a faction leader. Upkeep reduction for demon units. Weapon strength increased by 25%. And physical resistance for all demons. Pretty good. And also we get the campaign victory. Then we've got Route 2. There are no strings on me. At the hour of the 13th coronation draws near. Belakor is driven as never before to throw off his shackles. He will lay low the Chaos God's greatest champions. This time the demonic legions will march not at the whims of the 13th ever chosen Archeon, but in accordance with his own plans, whether the Chaos Gods wish it or no. So we basically need to curb stomp all of the demon factions. That's going to give us the first and last. Um, Archeon will be forcibly vassalized. That's right, he's going to have to suck my shadowy dick. Uh, and we'll get more tribute from vassals, which is quite nice. And we'll also get the Crown of Dominion, which is quite nice. Uh, so that is the, that's the crown that basically makes you the Ever Chosen. And Belakor was forced to crown all of the Ever Chosens. That was his, so he he, he wanted to be the Ever Chosen. The Kelsey goes, mm -mm -mm. no, no, you get to be a little crown bitch. Get over there and put the crown on someone else. Just because, again, that was just the most dick way they could think of, of dealing with him. We've also got Route 3, the... whatever the fuck that is. Belakor leads his legions through the Shadow Rifts, searching for cursed souls and fell Elkana to power a mysterious new creation within the Forge of Souls. Harvest the following settlements via conquest or through the vassals and military allies until the thingy-majig activates. We also need 50,000 souls. Holy shit! 
That will give us the time is nigh. A dilemma will offer a choice between powerful rewards. Ooh. Uh, Zanagrun, the Great Hall of Greasus, Black Crag, Castle Dragonoff, Kemri, Scaven Blight, the Galleon's Grave, or Nagarond. Um, I mean, do we actually need to... It says harvest the following settlements via conquest. I suppose we just need to, like, kill them. We don't need to occupy them. Just kill them. Fair enough. There we go. So we start off with this guy. Yeah, I thought maybe he was... You know, you know the old trope where you have to fight yourself and it's like a shadowy version. I thought it was something like that, but no, he's just a, it's just the the most emo fucking lord of change ever. Okay, let's put what's his name? What's it? Jawhole Cool. We'll put Jawhole Cool in that army. Where is he? Could have could have could have selected the bot the top. Didn't he's got scaled skin? Right, you need some cream for that, mate. But never mind. Let's go and beat up this the emo lord of change. Um, he's only got... Right, that's not... You're not bringing your best, are you? Okay, first battle, brand new campaign. Smells of... What do emo bedrooms smell like? Smells like that. Sort of musty. Very must musty. So there's the emo Lord of Change. He's not for us. They're supposed to be, like, multifaceted and colourful. And this guy, he's... Just not into it. He's uh, not a fan of bold primaries, nor the pastels. It's just, I want to be black. And that's it. Probably listens to Linkin Park. I know, all my references are about 10 years out of date. I get it. It's fine. Look, I can't floss like the other kids, okay? I'm not... I, I, I thought I was with it, and then they changed what it was. And I thought that joke was funny at the time, and now it just feels too real. It's already Bellacor is hiding in the trees there, and unfortunately those Furies are going for him. Now the Furies are quite nasty, because they can dish out a lot of pain. So we debuff the shit out of them. So uh, they're unlikely to hit us. He's also taking a lot of fire. We've sent the... Sended the we've sent the chaos spawn in who should make fairly short work of blue horrors so We pummel them in submission they can't open fire on us they get sundered armor as well It's because they're fighting the is that spawn of zinch spawn of zinch so do sundered armor I mean blue horrors don't have much armor anyway. They've got five so sundering their armor is is not really that vitally important Bellacor's now fighting the what's his name? Al Aquin, Aquin, Aquikin, Alan. He's fighting Alan. Alan keeps trying to drop spells on us, and I keep moving my unit so we can stay out of it. Blue horrors being disintegrated there, which is great, and over there as well, fantastic. And of course, we get the message that the enemy has to land their forces or surrender this territory. He doesn't actually say like how long that is, um, but this guy doesn't seem to care. He just stays up there, up in the air, not really giving a shit. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if maybe the AI just works under different different rules in that it doesn't actually matter for him. No, run out of the no plague bearers, leg it. Okay, that was that that could have been worse. That could have been worse. Bellacor and Alan going toe to toe. Have you noticed how all of the starting armies taking up the enemy lord is the worst bit? Because because the armies are so small, it doesn't seem to really affect the army losses. So you actively have to kill the fucker. And that's actually really hard to kill enemy lords. I've had to send in old Jawhole. I'm going to call him John from now on. John, we've had to send John in. I mean, he's, he's going down just very slowly. Considering we've already wiped out the rest of his army. Mind you, the rest of his army was shit. Thankfully, he is now getting sad. And of course, the problem with demons is that when they get sad, they do start to just, you know, disintegrate into nothingness. 
yeah, like that. And then the battle ends really quickly, and I don't have time to fade out. I'll, I'll fade out now. It's fine. Don't, just, just ignore this bit. Well, that was more annoying than it needed to be. Never mind. I am going to take the... You know what? I'll take the cash. It's not much cash, but I'll take it. I'll take... Oh, God. That's so much... I mean, at least there's no law to change. Is it a, is it a siege battle? Yeah, it's a siege battle, because they're siege equipment. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, that seems like annoying. I'm just going to... There we go. We'll just all resolve it, because... Occupy and vassalize. Yes, please. Yes, please. Conquata. What do we got? So the empowered Ogham Stones is going to give us more control. I don't think control is necessarily something we need to worry about massively. Um, but it also will give us more winds of magic powers. When, when it, right, so more winds of magic, generally. Good. More income from more buildings in the local province. I mean, that's, that's a no-brainer. That is a no-brainer. Do I want more? I do want more. You know what? Actually, I've changed my mind. It is a brainer. I want money, God, and I God. want growth. I am the harbinger. That's what I want. Mine. That's what I want. Right, what we got? We got Dark Souls. I've played that game. So... Everyone gets more more killy as long as their hit points are above fifty percent. I mean, you sure? Sure. Less fatigue. Hmm. I am going to get. You know what? Getting getting an AOE spell this early on, I think, probably probably pretty legit. So let's do that. Also, what's your path to glory? So you need to win five battles. That'll make you unbreakable. Uh, and your turn in a friendly region with less than minus 50 control will make you a corrupter. Okay. And win three battles with chosen units uh, as chosen leader. Meh. I mean... It's fine, I guess. Me, Christ, all right. Clear. Calm down. Let's... I mean, I don't kink shame, but chill. Um, so we've got all of the thingy-majigs unlocked. So... Ooh, income from all buildings, less control. Hmm. Um, ooh, ooh. ooh, tempting. Very tempting. Well, it would be. It's Lanesh. Makes sense. Horrors of the Skies. Uh, more research rate. We can't get that just yet. Income from post-battle loot and income from raising settlements. That feels pretty good. It's not keeping 50. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Nurgle, growth after winning a battle. Uh, that's not... Hmm. Hmm. It is all provinces. I mean, more growth. Okay, so we're losing 100 a turn, which means in five turns, we will have none. So, good to know. Let's get... Let's do something like that. So, we have a little portal here, which is going to... S I, don't know where, I don't know where we can go. I definitely know there's a portal, like, here. So, maybe we should, we should do that. But, we've already got Albion ticked off. Oh no, Citadel of Lead is still... Okay, we need to go and take the Citadel of Lead. We'll do that next. That's that's next on the itinerary. Uh, unholy Manifestations. What's this one? Open a Rift of Prophets at Target. Oh, a... Pink Horrors of Zinch. Mm, I don't know. I'm okay actually at the moment. I think I'll, I think I'll live. We'll give the Citadel of Lead to the Vanaheimlings. Then I think... We need some more vassals, don't we? We need some more friends. So we're going to go over to, to Norska and we're going to kick the shit out of people until they become our friends. Because that's, as far as I'm aware, the best way to make friends through force. Good to know. Hello? Um, yeah, I'm just going to... I could subjugate you. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, ooh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted, but is that really gonna be any use? Nah. So, 
let's do that. We'll march back home. Just to heal up. Those guys are dead. These guys the doing a thing. We got 75 growth for winning a battle, I assume. And we can... Is there anything which is going to increase my growth? Don't care about that. Control? Less? Construction cost? Maybe. Mm, no. Chance of plague spreading. Mm, hero recruit rank. Mm, yeah, not that. I guess we'll go with this. This one. This one. It's a little bit less control. But, um... I'm going to go with it. What does the Dark Master do? It's a hex, which reduces melee attack by how long? Four? 33 seconds. Well, it's all right, I guess. It's fine. I'm going to go with Rune Marcher. Skill acquired. It, it's a skill issue. Uh, Deadly Blade? It, do, it does, yes. Yes, that's what kind of we're working on here. So you guys are fine. Um, yeah, we're going to go over and basically mulch Norskans until they until they love us. I'm gonna choke them harder, Daddy. God maker. I wonder I mean it might be worth just in finding out where the fuck we can go to, right? I will traverse a rift. Where can we go? Oh there's a rift there. Rift there. There's two rifts. <laughs> I thought there'd be more rifts. Why the fuck? It, why? The, why is there one here? Is there a law reason why there's a shadow rift all the way over here? It's too. It's not that good. Is, is there like a way to open more rifts? I feel like two rifts is not. So yeah, one down there, one there. I mean, okay. Well, nope. That's fine. Um, wait. Did this? Hang on. This one. It says opens a rift. Is this is this how we make more rifts? So we basically have to go somewhere. And then it opens a new rift? Is that is that the thinking? And then we can travel around. Well, I'm, I'm, I didn't know, Bellacor. No one told me. Like Mordheim. Yeah, like Mordheim. The first demon. I've heard rumours that that's coming back. I've heard rumours. I've heard the rumours. Um, Marauders of Zinch. Do you want Marauders of Zinch? I mean, sure. Basically, muscle-bound nerds. They're huge. They're nerds. You're going you're gonna to have a tough time giving them swirlies. Okay. We're, we're going to go... We're gonna go to to Norska first because I think that's the best option. Cause terror for chaos spawn. Meh, maybe dark diplomacy. Hmm, maybe. But I don't really want to. I, I, I'm not really interested in making friends. I'm more about knocking heads together. Uh, unit experience gain fifteen percent for chaos warriors. It only affects chaos warriors. Doesn't affect marauders, does it? To profane weaponry do. Unlocks Chaos Knights. Well, that's tempting. Hmm. Construction time may not be the worst thing. So you know what? Souls gain from battle. That's that sounds that sounds like it could be the way forward. Because I am kind of hemorrhaging. So I've I've been dicking about, haven't I? I've not been gaining souls. I need to. I mean, you, you should spend your souls anyway, right? Because that unlocks more stuff. It's just that we don't have any souls at the moment. We need to. The rookie numbers need to pump those numbers up. Right, where can we land? We can probably land at Trollfjord, right? Yeah, we'll land at Trollfjord. We'll go and beat the shit out of um, what's his face. Collected income. Com commandments called right, provincial instability. So that, that'll drop down to seven minus seven, which is not it's not great, but it's not bad. Once we got we can get the Ogham stones, that'll give us a little bit. 
I think something like that would be fine. And we can always, like, slap a rift over here, can we? And then we can travel back and forth. Oh, having, having fast travel. That's fun. That's neat. I quite like that. Need to check how often we can do it. I mean, I would, I would like a nice big rift. I like big rifts, and I cannot lie. Being able to hop between places is just... It kind, of, it kind of like what the Wood Elves can do. Which is so useful. Because it, it kind of opens up the map. I mean, the, the Immortal Empire's map is fucking massive, isn't it? He's, um, he's got a little, his little red room, doesn't he? Running out of souls. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. We're, we're, we're working on it, we're working on it. Right, we know there is a big old, a big old black fortress over here. It's nothing we can do. I'm just going to spend it. And then, you know, we'll, we'll be out of souls, but sell of it. I should have probably just done one, shouldn't I? And I would have kept it. Maybe just kept the the post-battle income one. That would have been quite nice. Right. We'll land at Trollfjord, capture it, use it to replenish, and then, oh, we could actually give it to the Vanna Heimlings, couldn't we? Well, the problem is if I give it to the well, hmm... No, I probably do want to give it to the Vanna Heimlings. Oh, now the attrition stops. Yeah, I'm declaring war. Get fucked. Get fucked. Get wrecked, son. Um, yeah, I will gift it to my vassal. Let's give it to that guy. What's the Umbral host do? Stalk for all demonic units. Um, sure. Oh, you've unlocked... What did you get? The four token. Oh, Chaos Strategist, a Chaos Commander, Chaos Gladiator. I mean, Chaos Gladiator is like five minute attack. Yeah, alright, chill out. I'm gonna be honest, you're you're a bit of a drama queen, Bellacool. We're not we're not gonna do that. Right, more control. What does this do? Is, uh, I do. I mean, income from all buildings and adjacent. And I, um, okay, we'll grab that one because that's going to kind of help with our. People are sad. People are sad, and that's a shame. Right, we need to take the monolith of Bajor Kill Bloody Hand because that is a is a dark fortress. So we go and grab that, and that is going to basically, you know, we need as many dark fortresses as possible. Need to run around, grab those dark fortresses. Those are the hubs of our economy. That's why poor old Festus has such a such a rough time. Well, happy populace. Not sure what they're happy about. But there we go. At least. Oh, I kind of actually want you to replenish. Okay, you sit there, replenish a little bit. We'll go and kill those guys next. I don't have any... Can I poke you in the eye? I can poke you. <laughs> it's so cool. Like a little, little bit, they can like squish the flies, can't you? Squish the flies, and that one just shines, because Slanesh is boring. Poke, poke, poke. See? That's, that's, pretty, that's pretty legit. wonder how many Charlemagnes that cost. What? Who? What? Who did? Okay, let's do. Oh God! Okay, maybe just do some channeling. That's a lot more stuff than I thought. <laughs> oh shit, son! I was like, ah, be fine. It'll be fun. Shit. He's gonna, he's gonna come for me now. Thing is, I've had to run away. He, I mean, I, I, <laughs> what else can I do? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, at least he's just got a shit ton of doggos. So could be worse. I know what you're thinking. Is he corner camping? Well, let me tell you this. What is 
corner camping. Is it really camping in the corner? Or is it not? Think about that. Anyway, the important thing is why the fuck does he have the Great Moor Herd of Bloodfjord? Fuck right off. Fuck, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? How? You're level three, you lunatic. How the fuck is that? All right, never mind. Bellacall's done some damage already. Good, he's used his, uh, his AoE to a good effect. Although, if we're having to dodge the, the throwing axes, which are being lobbed at us. And here comes the, uh, bl the, bl the, the, the herd. Thankfully, our pink horrors should be able to lay the smack. I mean, that's here fucking five. Come on. We're sending in the blood letters. Jesus Christ. They've got f that's too many mammoths. That is too many mammoths. They're all hitting the right flank. But we're standing firm. In goes another thingy magic, but they're also dropping some magic of their own on us. Ow, 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 ow. That sucks. That sucks. Bellacor, kill the wizard. Break his fingers so he can't waggle them anymore. Mordoggo's throwing themselves at our marauders, who are, for the moment, standing firm, and Bellacor's going in to hunt down the enemy caster. Come on, he's like a little weedy boo. Look at him. That's it. Rip him to pieces. Rip his legs off. Okay, we've... Mammoths have broken through our lines. The Chaos Warriors are running away, you cowards! You bastards! You're routing. Come back. Come back here. Uh, the demon, I need to get the demonettes. Ow. Bellacor, what the fuck are you doing? He's still alive. What the fuck? What is this? You're being netted. Fucking just hit him. Stop pissing about. Rip his spine out through his bottom. I mean, thankfully, John is doing a great job there. And the Chaos Spawn, of course, will die to a... Well, not a man. To... To a whatever the fuck they are, I guess. Oh, they're throwing a boat at me! What kind of villain throws a boat? Oh, and you've hit me with magic. Ow, that really sucks. My demonettes are gonna cry. My demonettes are sad. Bellacore, you piece of shit. What have you been doing? Fucking egg is tiny! How did you miss? Honestly, it's all very, uh, call me master, and uh, I am the first. You can't even fucking hit someone with a sword, you're bloody useless. You're all bark and no bite. Thankfully, the blood letters and demonettes combo is successfully managing to see off those marauders. The pink horrors have been unloading into the mammoths and doing considerable damage. And the chaos spawn have been holding the line, which means that eventually the marauders start to weaken and finally break. Bellacor's still working on that wizard. For fuck's sake, mate. For fuck's sake. Come on. Come on. At least kill him. At least... Come on. Kill him. Look. Just... Just rip... Come on. You got this. Where are you go? Just stop knocking him over. Just hit him with your sword. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Thank you. Jesus Christ, was that hard? Was it? Was it difficult? God damn. Right, well, okay. At least the Marauders now fleeing. Um, although quite a few of them did survive. And quite a lot of our army is completely and utterly fucked. So that's fun. Right. Well, we lost a unit of demonettes, but I'm not. Ooh, a rod of torment. Neat. Um, I do kind of need the replenishment, but I also really want the salt. No, I'm going to take the replenishment. Okay. Well, we beat them off, but he's still got those fucking... Where the fuck did he get those mammoths from? That's from a fucking monster hunt. You got just magic fucking mammoths. A oh, I didn't even know where we didn't have a trade agreement. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I just thought we. I just naturally thought we had a trade agreement. I do apologise. Uh, 
That's going to be very difficult to break our way through, isn't it? Uh, we did get bonus first infantry and charge bonus. I mean, that's no bad thing. And also, I mean, this is pretty legit. And we got the Blade of Shadows for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but yay! Yay us! Okay. We may have to pull back and replace our losses. Hello? Well, this is more like it. Should have been me. Yeah, I know, I know. You are mine. It's all right, mate. You'll get over her. All goes to plan. Well, not everything. I, was, I, I wouldn't say this was necessarily part of the plan. I gain. I was hoping that we could just, you know, blunder in and take out, grab that that city. That would make life significantly easier for us. Um, let's go. I mean, this is this is more weapon strength, right? So. That. Yes. Yes, indeed. Is there anyone I'll we can... Myself. What level do you need to be to upgrade rank 5? Right, there's no one that's rank 5 at the moment. Not even bloody close. I could turn you into Marauders of Great Weapons. And considering the fact that you don't... Like, we're not facing anyone with, like, a shit ton of missile weapons that feels like that kind of makes sense so we'll go with that we'll grab some more plate bearers as well because reasons and you know what you know what let's get some more pink horrors as well so there we go there we go right we're making a little bit of money here public order is increasing oh it's all coming together yes and i wouldn't mind more winds of magic just to be on the safe side there we go okay Okay, we did get a few souls, so we could... Wait. What does this button... Number of uses. This right. Will do. So we've only got a set number of these before... Before we need to sacrifice souls. Okay, well that's fine. God now we... Maker. Now we know. Now I know how this works. Because I didn't bother reading the instructions at the, at the start. Because... I never bother reading instructions. Fuck it. Just, just, I just wing it. Wing it and then complain when things go wrong. Which is why so much of my Ikea furniture is put up back to front and stuff. Um, oh. How the fuck did you confederate? Okay, we can't reach you in one turn. We'll reach you in two turns, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll reach you in two turns, right? We'll get a little bit, of, a little bit more heal. I think they've, I think they've run away. But if we, if we can grab the monolith of Bjorkil Bloody Hand, that will give us a nice seat of power, won't it? That's what we want—a lovely seat of power. Oh, it feels good. Feels good on the buttocks. Fear me. What do you want? A peace treaty? Get fucked. I want that town. And what Bellacor wants, Bellacor gets. Well, within reason, anyway. Right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. I'm gonna kill your bloody mammoths this time. It says it's, it's better than last time. Is it a settlement battle? Probably. Settlement battle? Field battle? We got. Nope, settlement battle. Okay, that's fine. We need to get in there. We need to beat up Wolfric, take this goddamn city, and then set up a new vassalage. And then we can push further into Norska and get more friends by ruthlessly beating people up. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.